Hey, hi, desert friends. This is Stormwater Trooper Marty bringing you another at-home do-it-yourself project. This time we're going to be doing some upcycling. It's a super stormwater savvy activity because you use creativity to repurpose an everyday item that would have otherwise been thrown away to pollute into something useful and environmentally friendly. Today we're going to be turning some tin cans into decorative containers. They're great for storing school supplies, your allowance, and more. So let's get started with your materials. You're first going to need some water cups to clean out your brushes when we're painting. You're also going to need paint. I'm going to be using acrylics, but feel free to use any paint alternatives you might have at home. Paint brushes for different strokes. Tape in case you want to hold down your can. And a clean used tin can. Make sure you take off the paper before we actually start painting. And if you have any decorative items laying around the house, feel free to bring those in too. You're first going to want to prepare your paint. Any mixtures you have in mind, just make sure you have them ready ahead of time. Next, you're going to want to make sure you have two water cups just to make sure you have enough to clean off your brushes. I'm going to put some tape down on my can just to give you guys a better visual of my actual painting. Um, feel free to skip this step if it's too inconvenient for you. Now that everything's set up, if you're ready, let's start upcycling. Start off by painting on the colors of the base of your tin can. I'm personally going for a light blue and green um, for my can, but feel free to get creative and choose any colors that you have available. Let's fast forward a little bit more. When you're done with this step, we're going to go outside and let the can dry off a little bit before we add another layer of paint on it. After your bottom layer is done drying, we're going to add what I like to call the creative layer of paint, where you can start drawing what you like. I'm also going to add an M for Mojave. If you're feeling creative, add a few words to yours too. Once you add all the paint and drawings you had in mind, you're done. Um, but if you had any other decorative stuff near you, like stickers, or if you wanted to glow on some flowers, feel free to do so as well. Once you complete all of the steps we just went through, you're officially done. Congrats! And send a picture to your friends or make sure you share it with us on Facebook at the Mojave Watership page. Alright Stormwater Troopers, thanks for upcycling with us to help keep a pollution-free Mojave. See you next time.